So apparently there's a war on information overload. Now, depending on how long you've been in the online marketing world, have run a business, thought about running a business, tried starting a business, you've probably heard the phrase information overload a number of times, right? It's a very common phrase used by marketers and everybody from Facebook groups on webinars, right? And it's always used in a in a negative way, right? Overload, right? Nobody likes overload. And what's meant by information overload is that people get overloaded with all types of information, which tends to lead to inaction. But I want to quickly talk to you about the positives of information overload. When I say that, I'm not talking about just ridiculous, uh, you know, consuming information at a level that, you know, you really, really get nothing done. I'm talking about in your everyday life, taking some time to, whether it's read a book, listen to an audio book, listen to some audio on YouTube, whatever it may be, but just taking some time to thoughtfully consume information. And the reason I say this is because some of my best ideas come to me when I'm listening to something, somebody talk, an audio book, something along those lines, where the typical guru would call it information overload. They say, oh, you don't need to listen to that stuff, just take action, right? Well, sometimes listening to that stuff is what gives you the ideas to act on. So actually recently, I was listening to something and it was talking about um, contest and giveaways. And this was in a completely different um, industry than really what I do. It, it wasn't really related, but it gave me the idea of a giveaway that I could do. I woke up the next day after watching this and I had an idea for a giveaway and I quickly wrote it down told my team about it and they love the idea because it's something that hasn't been done before, would generate a lot of intent, attention and engagement to our company and um, be a pretty cool uh, giveaway for the winner, whoever won it. So it's a win-win in the sense of um, somebody gets something for free and we get a lot of attention and eyeballs on our business. So that's just one idea. It's actually what inspired me to record this is that uh, the big lesson here is that um, information itself is not bad. What's bad is number one, the wrong information. And sometimes it's hard to know what's right and what's wrong. And number two, information overload at the expense of action, right? So not just taking in a lot of information, but taking in a lot of information that prevents you from ever acting on that information. So you're constantly kind of jumping from thing to thing, trying something new here, trying something new there, because you're constantly taking in new ideas, but you're never actually um, taking time to implement any of those ideas. But if you are very uh, thoughtful and calculated with your information consumption, then you can actually get some really good ideas that you can implement or that can kind of spark other ideas that you would not have thought about otherwise. So it's careful, considerate, thoughtful, calculated information consumption, which is different than information overload, but many may classify both the same way. All right, hopefully that helps and I will talk to you soon.